What's going on, Huddle? Hey, everybody, it's your man, Harry Yo, over the top, back with another video. Guys, today I'm doing a reaction video. Oh, my goodness. We may have found, Houston, we may have found the worst, the worst narcissist of them all. I ain't say the worst because some bad, bad ones out there. But I'm going to tell y'all, he's definitely, definitely in the top 10 rankings. He's got to be somewhere up there. <sighs> Guys, before we get started, I want y'all to hit the like button, hit the share button subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed today we are going in who man this guys i'm gonna call him the crud ball of them all <laughs> i'm telling you so there's a guy who has gone viral all over the world you know which is somewhat to some degree it, it's to be expected but what makes this male particularly newsworthy at this point is the fact that he is bragging about having multiple children with multiple women, seven children, and he said seven baby mamas. So, well, thing is this, you know, we have people out here like Nick Cannon who has multiple children. Nick Cannon takes care of his children, okay, and the mothers. There's a big difference, okay? They're, they're not the same. This guy, he has several baby mamas and... He thinks that it is cute. It is the cutest thing in the world to be able to lie from, to these women. And then, so in his, uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to show a video, some video of an interview that he did on uh, shout out to just pearly things. You know, I never did a reaction video to one of her videos before, but boy, I couldn't find this guy. You know, to just do his own on his own video. But she had a uh, different conversation with him and he exposed more than just how he got into the situation with the seven children's mothers. He is blaming the women. And he's saying it's your fault. <laughs> he's saying it's your fault. You shouldn't have gave me nothing. You should have never opened yourself up to me. And I'm just not giving this dude any credit for none of that. I'm, I'm not, champ. Uh, would I call you champ? Let me take that back. Because the way I really feel is like the, the, the guys in his neighborhood, why hasn't anybody stepped to this dude yet? Because, you, can, you, you know, you can put any type of clown out here on the Internet, man. And I mean, because there's some clowns out here. And... It's our place as men to check the men, males, when they are way off. And this dude is out there on another planet somewhere, and I don't even know where that planet is. So we're going to listen to a little bit of his video, uh, his interview with uh, Pearl. And guys, y'all, I mean... <laughs> This is a trigger warning, ladies. I'm going to tell you, for you ladies watching, this is a trigger warning. Okay? Hold up. Let me... I think four. Four. Okay, so you haven't had a kid in four Yeah, that's, that's about a, the four. The youngest should be four. Guys, I just wanted to tell y'all real quick. I sped the video up some because, you know, they, they're talking at regular speed. I just sped it up a little bit so that we could, you know, <clears throat> get to the parts that you that I want y'all to hear on here. Okay. Hey, 
then that woman was married. Okay. Um, do you pay child support at all? No, not at all. How How do you not? You got You got to know my name, and you got to know where I live, and you got to know where I work. Okay, so none of the women actually know your name. Not at all. I just give them the name T, the same one I gave you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, these girls, um, they were all, was it all casual? Were you dating any of them? Um, I mean, casual sex. It wasn't like, <laughs> you know, it wasn't like a, a relationship type thing. Mm -hmm. It was just, you know, mm -hmm. sex. That was it. Mm -hmm. Some, some, some were longer than others. Most of them was on the first date. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. most of them was probably on the first date, next day. Mm -hmm. And did you tell them beforehand, like, I don't, I don't know, because in the video, you made it seem like you told them, like, I don't want anything to do with these kids. Like, when did that conversation come up? Um, you know, when you're releasing a woman, man, like, it just, and some of them, some of them was kind of accident and didn't know. So mm -hmm. when it, when it came up, I was like, oh, Miss Fury, I'm, I'm offering abortions at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I, if I didn't know, I let, I let him, it's a plan B, but I'm not about to sit there and, and hold your motherfucking hand and watch you take a plan B. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's just like, it's just, it's just different scenarios. Mm -hmm. And this is seven out of the 10. Three of them, the other three actually, you know, got an abortion. So this seven out of ten. You got ten women pregnant. See, okay. See, I actually sort of agreed with your video, and I sort of disagreed. Okay, I'll tell you why. So I, I agreed that like women, we have all the choice. And when you're talking about how women, they don't <clears throat> take accountability, you know, for giving random men their body where you don't even know their full name. Like that's crazy. But like, how do you make the same mistake seven or ten times? <laughs> like, did you never think in out of the ten, maybe it's time to start wearing condoms? Maybe you know. <laughs> no, I do. I, I do wear condoms. Yeah. Do, and, uh, speak, and speaking of condoms, I, it, what's crazy is, uh, I'll I talk about that later. I do wear condoms. Mm -hmm. I do wear condoms. It's just those seven instances have, have been seven unlucky ass instances. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like it was intentional by any of them? Oh, no, no, never. Never. <laughs> never. Not at all. Because I, I wouldn't intentionally uh, get a woman pregnant. No, I said by them, like the women. Did you feel like any of them were intentionally trying to get pregnant? Because you always hear, like, from the women, I it say, just I happened. I would say the, the, the ones that, um, tried to like, you know what I'm saying, reach out and like, you know what I'm saying, talk about me being mm -hmm. in the kids' uh, life and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was like, you know what I'm saying, it could have been, it could have been planned, it could have been intentional. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. I can't think or speak for them actually, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I could, I could go ahead and try to blame motherfuckers all I, all I want to, you know what I'm saying? I just know I played a part in it, but I also know they played a part in it as well. So it's just like, I wouldn't say uh, intentionally, it could be, it could have been mm -hmm. on their part. Or their part. Yeah, no, I saw, I saw that. What, did, what is your response been to like the reaction the internet's had? Like, did you know they were going to, um, react the way it did. Uh, shit, ain't nobody ever came out and said it. Ain't nobody, mm -hmm. ain't nobody ever get on the internet and basically become the most famous motherfucking deadbeat. Ain't nobody ever do it. So <laughs> I, 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 I imagine that it would have some effect, but I didn't know mm -hmm. it would go this far. But okay, y'all. Again, so I used uh, her video. I used Pearly Things video because. She, she, as you can see, we can you can see the comments and you can see what people are saying, so you can kind of feel the vibe of what people really think about this. Now, you know, you actually had people in there, some people in there were actually in agreement, but a lot of people were like, What is this dude doing? What is he saying? So, you know, my thing is, first of all. Having a sexual relationship with some with anyone that is an adult adult function that should only be carried out with another adult. And this person is showing that you know he although he is old enough to conceive. He is doesn't feel any responsibility towards raising his children. You know, I, there's another part in the video where he talks about one of the women that he has a child with is is married, and she was married while having a relationship with him. She got pregnant, so it's a guy, another guy out there thinking that, you know, his that's his kid, his own kid, and could raise. You know, the truth will find its way then in that household again someday as well. But this guy right here, you know, he is toxic. He is a narcissist. How can I say he's a narcissist just because he, you know, don't Kate take care of his kids? Yes. Yes. All of y'all that don't take care of your kids 
are narcissists, men and women. Yes, because it takes a special level of larceny in you to make you feel that it's okay to not provide and protect your seed. This guy, he he goes on a bunch of tangents, and you know, he's saying like, "Hey, I'm I, I'm saying I'm I'm the father, but I ain't I ain't do it by myself." And I'm saying that first of all, if you feel you're a man, number one, if you feel that you're a man, a man first, the first thing every man is going to do is take care of his child. And that has nothing to do with whatever's going on between you and the mother. I don't care if you if it was a one night stand. Yeah, lots of most people have had a one night stand before. And guess what? And if the person got pregnant, you know, and hey, baby, I don't, don't want to be with you. Uh, you know, oof. well, we both we both roll the dice and there's a child that came forth from that situation and ain't there's no way there's no way that i would ever justify leaving your children and then he said just a minute ago you know he's like hey i just tell him my name t just like i told you that's what he said to pearl my name t just like i told you and I could see most of the interview she had with this dude, she was lost. Pearl, you was lost on this. You, she was just blown out the water. That this fool is actually on the internet bragging about it. Like, dude, ain't no way that you're not gonna get that backlash. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about when I say the people that need the child support they don't get it. they they have killed kids with jokers like this right here you know the the child support system they watching this you telling me that nobody recognized this dude nobody can drop what his name is are you serious this dude walking around with seven kids and he's a predator. He's looking to put some more out here. And nobody has a problem with that. Y'all get come on, man. We not doing come on, y'all. Come on, man. We we cannot be at that point. All I'm I'm gonna say it like this. I see the women on the internet. I see a lot of them are now checking the women. And that's one of the things that uh I see that Pearl does along with several others several other women you know yes and it, there are several women on the internet that are checking the females i'm saying it's up to the men to check the males that's out here just robbing society you're not just doing this to women running some game on women you are corrupting society when you do this you are showing your own children, your own flesh and blood that abandonment, abandonment is fine because I didn't want you no way. You're showing your own seed. You're showing your own children. Your people. You are the reason that we have the broken family. You are the head. You how can you you supposed to be leadership, and you're not. You're just cruddy, dirty, grimy, filthy, just a straight crut ball. He's just a straight crut ball, bragging about how I have seven children. You need you need somebody. I mean, you just need to be around a real man for a little while. To be honest with you. Because somebody really should just deal with you. You walking around here like you really saying something smart and being cute. Really, somebody need to tap you on the shoulder and have a man-to-man -man talk to you for real. 
because you just running around here. You won't you don't take care of your kids, and you bragging about it in front of the world. Got everybody looking stupid out here. Ladies, don't judge us by this fool right here. This this monster has nothing to do with manhood. This this, this joker, this he just I don't know what he on. He probably smoked crack or something. I don't know what he on. But what I do know is, is that he ain't no man. He this this ain't no man. And look at this the disguise he has on. So, you know, that 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 clown fooled a lot of women. He he fooled a lot of women. And you know. Yeah, okay, ladies, y'all made some mistakes. Y'all made some mistakes dealing with this guy, especially the married woman having a kid. But man, with the you had a kid. How how does you how are you making your husband look? You had a kid by this bum who is gone viral on the internet because he got so many kids. This bum is on the internet bragging about how many kids he has by different women and that he's not taken care of, that he's not active in their life. That's how you making your husband look. Just out here. Man, who raised you? Who raised you? This dude is a bum, man. You a bum. Dude, you a straight up bum. You were, only a bum would run around talking about how they don't take care of their kids. You a trifling, dirty, grimy bum. This dude ain't never gonna have a good life. Never. Never. You on the internet bragging about how I, oh, I'm out. I'm out here. Do yeah, I did it. But blah blah blah. They they got they played a part in it too. No, they man, look, look, we here talking about you. We talking about your part in it. And, and, and whew, ladies, you you haven't you having a man, oh man. Yeah, so guys, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, you're gonna let a narcissist do something with you sexual and think that he's gonna do the right thing. This dude is bragging. About how he left you hanging with kids. He's bragging about he it's cute to him. It's cute to him. He's on the internet, touring the internet right now. Straight crut, but who would even want somebody to know that? Man, this dude, dude, you just a straight up crut ball, man. That's all we can say. You just a straight crut ball. Hey guys, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. I'm gonna have to jump off this one. This 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 situation that gave me a headache, man. Dealing with people on that level. Hey, I'm hurry over the top. That's my video. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.